Okay, this is what's left of the trees I fell out of the garden. Um, I left like three of them down here. Because I figured, why would I go up into the woods to cut lumber for the uh, side of the shed when I've got these right here? So, what I'll do is just uh, cut an eight foot log out of that one and at least one eight foot log out of that one. I'm not sure about that littler one, but we should be able to get some stuff out of it. Another thing I kind of was thinking about was um, on the, the timber jig mill, you can't just like take a slab off the top and then just keep slabbing off boards. You can't do that because uh, the roundness of the log, like, you know, it's, uh, you can't really tell on camera, I guess, but you obviously know a, a log is round. So if I come up here and, tr and slab off a slab and then try to slab off another board, the timber jig will hit on this bark that's sticking out and it won't work. But what I thought was, why not set up the timber jig and not take slabs off at all, set it up to cut the log directly in half, and then flip each half over bark side down, wood side up, and then take your slabs off, because then the bark would be like, like a cup shape, like that, the log would be. And so then when your timber jig goes along it, you know, your timber jig would hang down, but the log would go in instead of out. So I, I believe that would work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut these logs down and uh, just cut them directly in half lengthwise and then flip them, o flip them over, kind of like I was cutting the boards out of the slabs. Same principle and just go to town on them. I think that'll work. So, And these logs are just right here by the shed, so just right there. So why not? Okay, so I'm just going to go up here and cut a log out of this tree. I'm not going to put the mic on because it's just going to be irritating chainsaw sound anyway. So. Okay, yet again I'm trying a different camera setting. Um, let's see how it works. I thought I'd show you guys real quick though um, how to uh, make a workbench. We're going to build a workbench from scratch. <laughs>
edge. Okay, I have to change the change the chain and put the timber jig on, so thought I'd just show that maybe. well let's give this a shot um, it's not exactly splitting in half because the small end down the hill there the brackets all the way against the dirt so it's pretty close to half though I think it'll still work anyway. <laughs> that'll work just fine. Now we can just flip them over where they're sitting on the bark side and just slab the boards off of it. Whoo! Look at all that sawdust from one pass. like to have a bandsaw mill, but I just don't have the three or four thousand dollars they make a little one for like 1900 but I don't think it'll take the the size of logs that I've got so anyway let's get to it well this tree had just a little bit of rod in it as you can see there um, This camera definitely has the zoom, but I'm desperate to get this stinking thing done, so I'm just going to have to use what I got. I'll just have to fill the holes in with 
some spray foam or something. Okay, well, I think the rot pretty much has stopped with that first board. Uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. But I'll still use that first board too. Okay, this will probably be the last shot of the day. <sighs> but at least I got everything set up now where I can come back tomorrow and just start sawing boards. So I'm going to tack me a nail in here somewhere to maybe help hold that board up. I doubt if I get that one to dry. But give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and nail this top because it's going to sit here a while without another board on it. So. There's a little bit more done. Turd. Now I gotta pick up all the tools. Well, anyway, she's coming along slowly but surely. Uh, hopefully I can get some more done on it tomorrow. Mm -hmm.